yeah. about uh, where players should be playing or how they should have handled a situation. So I wouldn't be surprised if they are, you know, very um, and not strict in the sense they demand perfection, but they're they're a team that you know if you play Counter Strike for long enough, you have certain expectations for yourself and your teammates, and when you feel as though you you or they are not living up to them, it can oh, be invert. really frustrating. And Invert gonna walk right into that crosshair and get taken down. Good first frag for BDS. Exactly what they need on this map too. So opener will go in favor of BDS. They did win pistol round of uh, map number one, which was Mirage, but they quickly got ecoed, and there goes the bomb getting dropped by Drake as the terrorists try and work their way up into the A bomb side. Bye bye, and Drake getting frags. S2H will try and work his way over. He's going to try and jump up on top of Scouts. Can he make the shot happen? Scouts will take him down. Drake rotates in to get the finalizing frag on TSG. 3K for Drake, and that will make it 1-0 to zero in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, oh, man, with such a good start for BDS, that is uh, such an unfortunate outcome. But, I mean, that's kind of what Lunatic has been doing, just putting together really good shots and great individual plays. Drake with the 3K on the round, just unrelenting. And BDS themselves, not uh, they, they realize that uh, if they don't start winning now, they're just going to let this game get away from them, just like they did the last game. So they're going to be completely or almost completely bought up a scout on Deegzel. Wow, what a great nade from Babai. Did so much damage. I'm not even sure if he knows how much damage that did. But now he's going to be able to pick apart and mop up the uh, work he did earlier. Yeah, it's going to leave TSG down to 50 HP. They know one's in pit for sure. He's going to be the last player there. Bomb is going to be down outside long. Drake is able to hit a FAMAS shot up mid up to what used to be the palm tree onto Terror. And now we have TSG. No, we do not have TSG. Bomb down. Deeks out Washington on the rotate into the long house. Flashbang comes out. They're going to try and peek off this. Deegzel's going to eat that thing. Hits the scout shot onto scouts. Invert's going to go for the push. Deegzel is able to do some damage to Invert. Brings him down to 8 HP, but Invert will end up hitting the shot. Pro 90 in hand. 2 to 0. BDS couldn't come up with the eco round there. Yeah, I feel like hitting the shot is an unfair compliment when someone comes jumping around the corner with a P90. But to his credit, did lock up the frag. So good for him for using the that 50 bullet cannon. Uh, effectively and with that BDS has no choice but to really spend frugally this round some upgraded pistols for them and a smoke on Deegzel but that's about it great awareness from Babai throwing the he grenade on a long early last round not gonna find any damage with a uh, grenade early this round but still did so much of the legwork for his teammates last round let's see if uh, scouts and Babai can team up and shut down this long take it seems like so far they will yeah, Lunatic Esports looking very good on another anti-eco. Invert's going to force his way up mid, but Terror hits the 1D gone to Invert. And that will leave KB and Terror left alive. They're going to be getting pushed here, but Bai's got to look. Drake takes down KB, and another 1D. Can he get another one? Not quite yet. Still trying to fight for it. Knife comes out. Will he take down Scouts? He's able to take him they better down. better win this round now. Uh, yeah, he's down to 3 HP, though. That nade's going to get him. And that Good will be the touchdown Drossel. grenade from Drossel. That will make it 3-0 to zero in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, and BDS, I think, a, a little unhappy with uh, the potential BM from that uh, knife attempt. But either way, I thought it was a valiant effort. Seems like the Lunatic Pirates have just gotten only punished when they are pushing out and overextending themselves over into the T side part of the map. You know, probably not going to be a problem for them long term because they've just been doing so well in you know the the early round and the early play. But with uh, KB getting that opening pick, it looks like they might have an opportunity. To win this round but even in the first uh round they got the opening pick and were unable to win the round let's see if they can be draw so in the b site and they can so now tsg is going to try and make his way in his teammates rotating he's able to take down drake so opening gun round going in favor of bds so far as scouts and babai will be on the rotate they do have a flanker coming in so babai and scouts have to be perfect here they're trying to take down tsg avoids the Grenade digs out Washington coming from behind. He's going to have a free shot on the bye as uh, Terror will take down Scouts. That's going to give Lunatic, or excuse me, BDS their first round. Lunatic will be up 3-1 to one still. Yeah, and actually uh, because they were throwing so many players uh, at BDS before and just rushing right at them, they're not made of money. After uh, losing round four, they are, are going to have to be saving, or well, they're not really even fully saving uh Pistols are coming out, that seemed pretty apparent, but Drossel picking up a scout for himself, and in a stack over towards A cr could prove beneficial for them. I don't know if anyone, well, KB in particular, he had that up, was picking in mid and saw only one player cross over towards B. Had they known that, I'm sure they would be putting a lot more uh, effort over towards B and not leaving that bomb on long, but 
because they pushed him over to be quickly to try to find a frag, I don't think they saw that only one player crossed. But here we go, the rotate's coming out anyway. Drake is able to take down S2H before Terror trades him out. Deezel's going to be waiting at long, but Bai tries to step out also. Hasn't gone down yet. Wow. There he goes. Terror tries to make his way in the site. Inverts there. Terror will capitalize on that, so now it's up to Drossel. Backpedding a little bit. Back behind the box. Terror peeks out the window. That's a 3K for Terror, and BDS is only down by one round now. And Lunatic still trying to get that aggression going. It has almost literally not worked out. The one round it kind of worked out is when Invert had that jumping P90 frag. Seems like every other time they try to pinch the players up into that uh, outside of long area, they're getting uh, mowed down even on rounds they win, giving up unnecessary guns and forcing themselves into weird double eco buys now where they're buying two scouts. What am I looking at here? It's like they're, they're, they're trying to throw these rounds away. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty confident once they do get real rifles in their hands, they're going to be able to put some real play together. Deezel killing an unsuspecting invert. Oh, S2H. Oh, oh S2H. Bye -bye. Can he keep it going? No, finally goes down to Babai, able to pick himself up two frags. Drake will pick up one on the Deezel. And this is looking like a round win here for Lunatic if they can keep it going as Scouts takes out TSG. Drake hits the long range headshot onto Terror. 2K for Drake, 2K for Babai, and that will make it 4 to 2 in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, and I, I, I'm a little annoyed that Lunatic ended up winning that round because I think it's only going to uh, further encourage that kind of behavior. I think eventually they're going to find teams that are just going to slam that back in their face. No real reason why BDS should have lost that round. Their players on long should have been able to lock up those frags. S2H played so well last game but could not land the off shots when his teammates needed it and refused to pull out the pistol. Just chose to try to op a, a point blank fire like twice. And Drossel now under a lot of pressure getting support from Invert. Two ops over there in B, and so far so good. It's working out for them. Oh, oh, he oh, tried to hide awful. in the smug. Nice try. Yep. Tried to get into it. TSG right there at the door, fighting all that he can. Gets two before scouts will take him down. Silence M4. Both of those ops will get saved. AK picked up my bye bye. And that will make it five to two in favor of Lunatic now. And uh, with that, Lunatic finally going to get the real rifles. Actually, they had the real rifles in their hands last round. I don't know what I was saying. Got a little confused with myself right there. But BDS themselves going to have the real rifles. We're going to see. I feel like, I don't know, not not the very first, but one of the first, like, gun round versus gun rounds. I feel like they've been trading back and forth with various broken buys. And Invert getting revenge early on. I think he got picked early on uh, crossing last time BDS had an op. So wanted some revenge for himself. But by going to get tagged down, I'm going to fall back into pit for his teammate to save him here. Yep, they're looking for KB. Flashbang comes out. That's going to blind all but KB. Terror is still there in the long A house. Taking a little bit of damage. Actually, no damage. Excuse me. I thought he got lit right there, but he didn't. He will rotate back out to mid as Deegzel gets taken down by Invert. Top mid will be Terror. Trying to get in a gunfight. He knows there's an op there. Also trying to shoot. That grenade comes out. Doesn't do a lot. Invert's going to bring him down to 27 HP. Terror still fighting. He knows Invert's worked into lower B. He's getting flanked from long. Hits the initial shot, but Babai will eventually take him down. 2K for Invert. 2K for Babai. And that will be 6-2 to two for Lunatic on CT side of Dust2. Yeah, and just a relentless play from Lunatic, just not allowing BDS uh, to get a, a further grip on this game. It has to be really frustrating for them. I mean, so much so that KB is now buying dualies, which I'm not even sure if I've ever seen in a game I've cast. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone pull out the dualies, but perhaps he can impress me and uh, use them well this round. I really have only seen Nip, I think, ever use uh, dualies. And let's see the ops getting to work over in B. Oh, Washington will get himself one. Invert steps up to trade him out. Can't hit the shot on KB. Dooley's in the hands of KB. Did not work out for him. Deegzel was the only terrorist to get himself a frag, and that will make the score 7-2. to two. Another tick is up. Man, I'm really surprised that BDS is unable to beat those ops in B. In theory, you should be able, especially with the pistols in your hands, just to overrun them, but... They, they, well, I mean, to the Lunatic players' uh, credit, they've been setting themselves up so well to, I mean, they're almost never aiming at the same player. I'm not sure how that's happening. That has to be uh, a little bit of uh, luck there. But also, they're just doing such a good job of creating lanes for them where the BDS players can't just jump three players onto one of the oppers. And uh, this round, I'm going to start off right as uh, Terra gets an opening frag through the double doors. Cat has been given up. Drake in a huge position. Going to catch one frag from Goose. 
and that's going to molly Deegzel away. Oh, Drake out of position there. Doesn't matter. Scouts will take that frag down. Terror trying to hit a shot through uh, the mid double doors. Didn't quite make it happen. So now it's going to be Drossel and Scouts trying to rotate towards B. Drossel will be the first one there. Op in hand tries to go through on a flashbang. Sees the first shot on the TSG. Is able to get in his way into the site. Now he's just trying to work the op if he can keep it going. But the peak outs are coming. Oh, KB oh. goes down. Drossel looking good so far. Hits the oh. finalizing shot onto Terror. That's a 3K for Drossel. And Lunatic will hold on to make that score 8-2 to two over BDS. Yeah, Drossel, it's like he's in the Matrix. He's just reading the code off the screen and figuring out exactly what he should do. I mean, he was in such a, he was in, in complete frag mode when he went into the B-bomb, so he caught that opening frag and then instantly looked back at the site and started spamming imaginary players. He didn't know where he was going to get assaulted from, but he knew he was going to come out on top, and ultimately he did great op shots there from behind the double stack in sight jumping and keeping terror on his toes forcing terror to take uh some some shots that i'm sure he didn't really like that it exposed him uh, in tunnel so great great play from drossel invert there out mid hits a beautiful shot onto terror behind the xbox a bombsite is taken scouts misses his first shot ends up collecting it though on the spray so it's going to be tsg and kb on the defense here of that bomb planted at a Already up close, bye bye Invert goes down, so bye bye trying to work off the Camelot by himself at the moment, able to hit the initial shot onto KB. Gotta find the Goose player. Gotta find him, TSG steps out, sprays down, bye bye and Drossel comes in for the one versus one clutch. Able to get the diffuse off here also, and that will make it nine to two. The Lunatic looking like they're gonna have a uh, mirror image of Mirage almost on their hands. Pretty much, I guess the order of the rounds off so far, and I, I still have faith in yeah. BDS to continue to win some rounds. I'm, I'm not really sure if they're going to be able to beat Lunatic, but I definitely don't think we're going to see them stop at two. Uh, and that was actually the first bomb plot we've seen all game, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, th there was the two rounds uh, that the, the Tyrus won pretty handily, but I don't even think on those rounds there were a bomb. There were bomb plants. They've been getting out on sites before, particularly the B bomb site, but they just haven't been able to really work their way as deep as they need to, to to plant the bombs. And that's another pick, I imagine, through the mid-double doors. Unfortunately, I wasn't looking at it, but they've been doing a great job of uh, getting picks on those players that are close in the double doors. And now Drake going to have someone, two players running right by him right now. He's going to wait. He's, whoa, he stayed patient. He's going to get both of these, or he should. <laughs> he no, tries to knife his way out. Down. TSG will make his way through the smoke, get taken down by Bye Bye. So they're going to try and work their way into the B bomb site. They do get an entry onto Drossel, not able to hold this time. Coming through the window will be Bye Bye. He gets punished by the op in the hands of KB, who's got two frags so far, and Scouts will rotate his way out into the B window, trying to make something happen here. Looking for Deegzel Washington. Deegzel's behind that site box. Down behind the plant box will be his teammate. That's going to be Terror inside the tunnel still, and Scouts gets punished by Terror for stepping through the window. BDS picks up a third round. As round 12 comes to a close, it'll be 9-3 to three in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, and we, we've seen BDS win individual rounds before, and they just have historically had a hard time stringing them together. This game, actually, rounds 4 and 5, the ones the, the two terrorist rounds that they have won, were actually the only two that they were able to string, as last game was a 16-2 to two loss, and... Uh, they, the rounds were few and far between, very literally far between. And then another round for KB catching an opening frag. Drake's not going to have to pick up on B. The assault is on. He's going to get taken down. They need to stop getting picked from mid. Smoke it if you need to. So now we're going to have Babai right there getting one. It's going to be up to Babai and Scouts. B-Palm site completely taken. One's going to come in through the tunnels. Deegzel Washington gets spotted. Can Scouts hit the shot? Not quite able to make it happen. Runs away from the nades. 15 HP. There goes Babai and Scouts all by himself here. They have a comfortable lead, but he is not going to go for it. He's just going to commit to the save. Live to fight another day as round 13 will go in favor of BDS. And that's going to make the score 9 to 4. Lunatic will be up, but BDS clawing their way back into this. Definitely, and they're, uh, they being Lunatic, are definitely not made of money right now. This M4 is going to be crucial to winning the next round if they can even do it, or I'm curious what they'll buy up around it. I mean, knowing them, they are going to be getting probably a little more aggressive than they should and uh, buy up around that, or just buy up whatever they can around that. But, oh, he actually is going to get taken down. Unfortunate for him. Not even going to be able to come away with that gun. That has to be a pistol save. If they go for some kind of broken buy here... I'm going to be very disappointed in Lunatic. Not because, mostly not because I don't think it's like a terrible idea for them, but I know it's just, it's going to be promoting that style of play, that unsustainable, yeah. 
style play because they know it seems like they are the better squad here against BDS, and it seems like they know it. And I think that that breeds some uh, confidence that I, I really don't want. I don't want to see them develop bad habits because of it. I, you know, who knows if they actually will? But it, it can be frustrating to watch. S two H getting dinged right off the bat, but they're not going to see who was that all the way back there. Scouts playing that so well. Oh, another frag coming though. TSG and S two H both picking up big frags. And that is just going to leave Drossel to get picked up by S2H, and BDS is looking to try and make this a 9-6 half, unless Lunatic could do something about it here in the final round of regulation of first half. Yeah, if BDS can win this last round, string together these last four, make it 9-6, that's not a terrible showing. I mean, I still have faith in, in Lunatic to be able to uh, work their way out of this hole, but, oh man, we're seeing four ops from BDS. I mean, really what, it, what it's come down to, the core reason why they're losing these rounds is because... They get picked in middle. They refuse to do anything about it. Uh, and I, I'm that was pretty much the main reason why they lost every round that they lost. I can't think of uh, a round loss they had that didn't start with them getting picked in mid. Ooh, TSG Maybe is some of the early ones. Yeah, TSG sitting on that grenade trying to get the shot off, brings himself down to 24 HP. Drake will go down to 19. The catwalk take is on. KB goes down, so that op is out of the way here. They've picked back up some of the rifles. They bought ops in the beginning to try and go for the peak. Didn't able to get anything down mid double doors. They were not able to get anything down mid double doors. Wow, I need to, need to focus on what I'm saying here. But Terror <laughs> will take down scouts. That's going to even things out at a four on four into round 15. BDS, as I said, trying to make this six rounds in their favor on the half. They got two players on the flank watch attempt here. And that might work out for them. But the first one is able to pick up a frag. And the secondary one is able to pick up a frag also. But that's going to be Deezel Washington grabbing two S2Hs there to get another one. It's all up to Invert. He goes down to Deezel. Deezel gets himself a 3K that round. That makes it 9-6 to six in favor of Lunatic. It was looking like they were going to crush that half, and then uh, it just faded away a little bit. BDS playing very well in the latter rounds of that half. Yeah, really good scope play from BDS starting off the rounds right, and then Lunatic had to just adjust with man disadvantages. That last round was... Uh, one of the first ones in a long time that they didn't get someone killed jumping across the double doors, but even still, I'm pretty sure it was Drake who got hit uh, trying to cross in, in the leg uh, at some point. So I'm, I just, I don't know why they just refused to do anything about it. I feel like they were getting punished so badly just trying to jump across that when they, there are so many different strategies they could have smoked it, which I understand why they wouldn't, so they could pick down it, but they hadn't had any success, or any, any success picking from there, so I'm. You know, I guess you give up some some cat vision there as well, but maybe even just vary the style in which you are crossing, uh, mix up the timings, try to cross a late. Uh, I don't know, just the the run and immediate jump over it is too predictable, and you get a talented offer sitting in T spawn, he's gonna pick you or do damage to you like every time, and you're gonna have to work out of a hole. I'm I'm not sure why they were so willing to to take that battle and and get picked early on like that, but. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if they can work their way out of it. I'm, I'm pretty confident they can. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with you there. Lunatic is only going to be up by three rounds. They win a pistol. They can essentially force us into a six-round advantage over BDS if they grab that pistol and the two anti-ecos that they need. Because remember, BDS did grab a pistol round from them initially on Mirage. Weren't able to anti-eco themselves, and they got taken down. And then it was all Lunatic after that, but I think Lunatic just got a little too comfortable here. A little too comfortable, thinking they were a little too good for BDS, and uh, got a little lazy, got a little sloppy. Yeah. Um, Hopefully they turn it back on now, though. I'm surprised because I, I feel like they definitely showed it a lot earlier on that they, they got, I think they were like the, the early rounds, even the rounds they were winning were really sloppy, pushing, you know, kind of trying to go for the knife attempts. You know, obviously they are really confident going into this game. There's no reason for them not to be, but then like they weren't, I feel like I didn't get that sense of, you know, kind of like cockiness or, or bragging, trying to go for the knives later down the line. They just weren't adjusting to what they were losing to. And, and really, even so many rounds, I, I think that uh, BDS just they had free bids up cap because of it. Like, there, were, there was the round, I think it was Inver just got shot in the side of the head. It was one of those weird double scout rounds they had or some kind of scout round they had where the players were just running up cat and not really being contested on, on mid or it seemed that the players that were on it didn't even know that players were running up cat so um, yeah. i don't know i i really i don't know what to make of it I, I can't quite put my finger on the cause of why they were letting it happen but it seemed like these were relatively easy things to rectify and you know for you know, whatever reason they, they weren't doing it
But, uh, you know, either way, they still did win nine rounds. They were still able to comfortably win the half. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I am, you know, saying some, you know, negative things about the end of the half there, but they, like, the first, what, you know, 11 rounds, 12 rounds, they were dominant. So, uh, I, yeah, I definitely. you know, as I said, I'm still really confident they can work their way back in it. TSG said he was going to the bathroom. Let's see, he is back. PP break completed, and we're going to be going underway with the uh, second half. I think so far we are, what, uh, oh, they're, sorry, Lunatic is two for three with pistol rounds going into their fourth right here. They, they lost the initial yeah, They lost uh, the initial and then on won Mirage. the after that. Yeah, they were able to eco it. But of the of the pistol rounds, just just the pistol rounds, they are two for three. Let's see if they can extend yep. that to three for four. Yeah, I mean, only dropping one pistol round in a best of three series is is pretty good, especially since the only pistol round that you dropped so far, you were able to come back and get the eco off in your favor. So that's going to bode well for them as we have BDS trying to play long here, double up. Oh, and man, Ooh. Drake is an animal with the pistol in hand. Just shreds terror. Digzel Washington trying to rotate away as the cat play is coming. Scouts takes down Digzel. Out mid though, S2H trying to get another shot. Gets draws all in. Vert will take him down. So now it's all up to TSG and KB. Both on the rotate, one CT, one's gonna come through. They're both gonna try and come through mid as Invert will hit the first one, trying to take down KB right in his face. Jumps up on Xbox, hits the shot. And that makes it 10 to six in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, big 3K from Inver, but Drake stepping up for his team and catching a sick opening frag, just back-to-back -back gooshes with that Glock on such a tight angle on a long. Really just uh, punishing BDS for predictability in their play and allowing him to... And he didn't move. He just peeked and went pop, pop, and then just the, the guy never even reacted to it. Just two crisp shots right to the head, opening up the round for them. And by the time the BDS players tried to adjust to it, they were being split all over the place, getting pressured in mid while players were crossing on long. They really had no chance at, at working their way back into it. And Terra, the lone man in B, going to go down early, forfeiting the entire site to Lunatic early on in this round. We're going to see Lunatic able to get into that B-bomb fight relatively easy. So now it's up to BDS to go onto the rotate, and uh, they're not looking like they want to rotate. They don't want to contest this at all. They're just going to try and stick together here, see if they can get any of these Lunatic players being a little too aggressive, try and get some guns of their own into this round, as uh, Digzel Washington will be covered from long A. Uh, I believe we have KB, uh, who is that with him? S2H up on the catwalk. Uh, covered at long eight will be the number seven man of TSG as KB takes down Bye bye So Terror's getting punished here for hunting a little too hard as Invert and Drake both hit big shots, though. That's going to remove S2H and KB. Digzel Washington tries to step out on the scouts. He will go down. TSG at long, the only one able to get out of that round alive. That will make it 11 to 6 in favor of Lunatic. Yeah, and things started to go really well for uh, BDS well, in terms of finding the exit frags and then. The, I think the rifle play just caught up to them. Lunatic further extending their lead with some good rifle play. Looks like, uh, yeah, they are going to end up with rifles across the board. Thought Drake was just going to be pistoling up that round, but now he did end up with an AK-47. Terror still the lone man in B, almost peeking directly into some spam. They're not going to rush him down this round, but it, it would have been a good play. And Drake catching KB, a great shot all the way up on Cat. Let's see if he can pick up a second one, but no Ooh. TSG hits one of his own. Nice pistol shot there, but bye. Does he check the corner? Now he will check the corner. Uh, punishes Terror for not being able to take down the initial shot. S2H outside the doors goes down. That will leave DXL Washington and TSG alive. DXL trying to make some shots from CT. They're going to be watching for the rotator from behind. No one is going to be there. And round 18 looks like it's going to go in favor of Lunatic at the moment. As DXL taking a good grip of damage. Nades are going to come in. He might re peek onto that. And yes, he will get touched down by Invert. So now just TSG trying to fight for an exit frag if he's able to get one, but Lunatic will be up 12 to 6. Yeah, moving into round 3, which, or excuse me, round moving into round 4, this is round 3. Uh, that will uh, make for the first rifle round of this half BDS's, uh, I mean, first chance at their last hope really to claw their way back in this game. TSG gonna get taken down. They were pretty much unable to take down a lot of the uh, Lunatic players. I mean, of the those first three pistol rounds, uh, Lunatic managed to keep four players alive in all of them. So uh, they are sitting on a lot of cash, and it doesn't look like they're going to be upgrading those goals. Okay, there you go. Threw one away. Drossel's still going to be holding on to his Galil. And uh, as such, they're going to be holding on to three players with 5K plus money. Even if they do lose this round, 
Uh, things are not going to slow down. But the one thing that BDS does have going for them is the double op setup right now, an op on KB, an op on S2H. It seemed like it was with ops, in terms of the ops, it was the more the merrier strategy on uh, terrorist side, and that really worked out for them. The more they had, certainly, uh, the more rounds they were winning. So, uh, got to imagine this is a good strategy, and looks like KB is trained right on where Scouts is going to peak. Oh, and he actually nice. is going to get taken down. That's a good opener there if you are BDS, able to take down Scouts. Executes coming, though, from Lunatic up towards the catwalk at the moment. It's going to be TSG there trying to get the shot off. Babai will punish him. Nade comes out. Babai gets taken down by Terror. Drake takes Terror and draws Hulk. Gets Deegzel. So now it's up to KB and S2H on the rotate bomb. It's going to work its way into the B bomb site. It's going to be a two versus two now. Bomb goes to the tunnels. KB yeah, watching to see if anybody comes out. That was a good play, too. Drake almost uh, peeked with the bomb into two counter terrorists, and thank God uh, Drawsaw able to give him the comms and, and kind of wrangle him back in and tell him, hey, B's open, let's go to B. And it looks like uh, it is going to be a 2-on-2 two -two retake. The number 8 man in KB. I thought it was actually going to go for a, a quicker peek there, but decides to slow up there at the last minute. Bomb down, so they are on the clock. Let's see what they could do with these two ops. S2H trying to peek his way Ooh. out. Oh my goodness, S2H, what an animal hits both of the shots. And that's going to be a big victory there if you're BDS on the first initial buy round to take down Lunatic off some great play. But S2H, the hero of that, if it wasn't for him hitting that initial headshot on that, uh, on that player behind the box there at platform, that would have been a rough look, rough retake for them to make happen because it's always hard to retake with an op unless your opper is S2H and he can hit beautiful shots like that. Yeah, let alone two ops. I mean, <laughs> that's probably the worst uh, retake situation you can ask for. But once again, if you have S2, if the op is in S2H's hands, then, you know, who cares? Those uh, shots. That the frags will get done. And yeah, killing that player on the big box was super important. Because really the only reason why that back plat player felt the need to peek out is because his teammate died. Had that guy on box just gotten, you know, even hit and not killed and said, hey, like they're, you know, moving in right now, just stay put and we'll crossfire them and force them into the site with the ops. I think that would have been a much easier round for Lunatic to win. And Scouts hitting a great shot on TSG by the car. That's going to open up the A bomb site. The closest player is Terror, and he's in CT spawn. Who Terror going to be trying to work his way around, but the bomb is going to cross over towards the A bomb site at the moment. Going to be able to work this into some frags. No, S2H actually hits the shot on the Scouts before Invert trades him out. Working up through the smokes will be Terror. He gets punished by Drawsol. Now it's just KB and Deegzel. There goes KB, so Deegzel Washington on Catwalk. All by himself. He's deep, though, out towards mid. He might get flanked by middle here. Drossel's going to be working that direction. He's going to be looking up. Doesn't quite see him just yet. Works his way around towards the lower B. Deegzel still out of harm's way for the time being. Drossel sees him. Deegzel hits the shot. He's going to try and escape now. He's going to try and save his gun. Does he get caught by Invert here? Invert can't pull it down and get the damage off. Only 13 HP on the Deegzel, and Invert gets punished for the hunt here. That's going to make it 13 to 7, though. Deegzel should be able to save this rifle. Yeah, not sure if that was the play for Invert, but still, round wins are uh, what's going to carry them through this game. And a uh, good job holding on to that M4 for Deegzel. The thing is, pretty cheap to be a terrorist, and they do have uh, a lot of money banked up. So even the pushing Invert going to have $3,700 to his name. That could have been an AK and armor, but he's actually going to get dropped the op. So he's going to uh, buy up armor and the nades he needs to run that op. Let's see where he's going to get. Oh, he's actually going to be holding mid while the rest of his team is pushing towards B. That's a great strategy. It means they're not going to get flanked from lower, at least without him calming it. And uh, they should be able to fight their way into uh, Terror, who's over there towards B, who seems to be playing all over the place. He's in B this round. He was in B a bunch of uh, the past rounds. But uh, the, the last round in particular over at A, he was the first responder in CT. I'm not really sure how that happens. Still trying to make their way in. Bye bye will take down Terror. Here comes the flank attempt from KB. He gets absolutely shut down. Bomb planted in the B bomb site. One's going to be rotating all the way deep. TSG, he gets actually spotted, and Drake hits the one tap. Now it's up to S2H. Blind out in the middle. He goes down. Lunatic will grab a 14th round, and they're dangerously close to match point now. Yeah, definitely. This is not uh, as clean as the 16 2 win uh, that they had on Mirage, but really, Lunatic just continuing to show dominance over uh, this team. And this is uh, BDS's. Last real stand here. They're going to be mostly bought out here, depending on what KB chooses to buy. Or what did he choose to buy? 
They waited so long. Okay, so he did choose to armor up and buy a P250. Not going to go for a rifle. Going to hold on to $1,800. Not really sure what that's going to do for him really next round. It's not too much money to be sitting on. At least at that point, just full save if you're going to full save or full buy if you're going to full buy. Uh, but they're going to boost Terror up on this cat box to see if he can catch a frag on Drossel, who's about to peek him lower. And he actually does. He's oh, a great terror. shot on an unsuspecting Drossel. That's going to be a good opener there. And we're still going to have Terrors trying to work all that they can, but they're going to be one man down now as BDS hit a good shot. Terror makes that happen. So now BDS trying to prevent that match point once again. Another bad scenario for them. As this is map number two, if they can't win this one, they're not going map number three, and it'll be a 2-0 victory for Lunatic. Scouts takes on Terror, S2H is there to punish. TSG and his teammates will be on the rotate. It's going to be an A-take attempt here. S2H has to drop down out of the bombsite, tries to hit some angles, hits the first shot. Invert goes for the re-peak. Invert doesn't get punished just yet, but Drake will get cut down by KB. Invert very low on HP. He's going to be 1v3 now. Peeks out. Oh, I thought he hit that shot, misses it. Actually gets punished, doesn't make his way over the wall all the way into the bomb site behind the safety of the box and bds keeps themselves away from match point that will make it 14 to 8. and of course god forbid i say anything about it because uh, kb with no rifle or primary weapon so to speak picks up an ak-47 and puts it to use catching a frag so it turns out not too much of a terrible idea just holding on to that 1800 dollars and just a pistol but um you know definitely uh, a little bit of luck there who knows if uh, he would have you know, always been able to run into that AK-47. Actually, we're going to see KB push all the way lower. He's going to catch. Well, he catches none of them. KB, what happened? Man, that oh, would have been Drossel. definitely one. Like, maybe two there, but definitely one frag he should have had. So now it's going to have the early initial round five versus four advantage in favor of Lunatic Esports over BDS at the moment. But BDS is still trying to battle back. They still have a chance here. They got guns in their hands going against guns on the side of Lunatic. But ew, Drossel takes a ton of damage as Terror tries to spray towards him. And Lunatic hasn't really worked anything just quite yet. They got that initial frag. Now they're going to try and work their way out long, possibly up to Catwalk. They have a player rotating through CT at the moment. That is going to be Terror working his way up. S2H still going to be pretty deep. TSG right there takes a big hit, goes down to 12 HP. Smoke comes out. They got to worry about Catwalk. TSG takes down Scouts, but Drossel and company are working. S2H takes down, but bye. Deegzel Washington will go down on the flank watch from Drossel. And now Drossel's got to get up. He's going to get flanked here. Can he get out of it? And he barely will escape that. Now he's going to try and flank the players in CT. Invert hits the deagle shot. Invert hits another deagle shot on the terror. And it's all up to TSG now. He's going to take down Drake, but the bomb does get planted. So he will be one versus two with the bomb planted. Very low on HP. Only five to be exact here. It's going to be a tough look for him. He doesn't want to allow Lunatic to go to match point. But he doesn't really have a choice at this point. He's got to sit back. Smoke comes down. He's locked out. He doesn't have a kit on him. And he's going to have to rotate away for safety to save the AK to live to fight into round 24. Lunatic will go to match point. Yeah, and good on them for battling through the A bomb site. Slick move by Drake going for the plan and, and realizing that he was going to get uh, chased up the ramp. So uh, he ended up changing his mind plenty for Cat. Did get punished for that. The TSG did end up peeking uh, from Cat. But either way, uh, the, the time he took coming off of the bomb, catching that frag, and then going to plant the bomb was a plenty for his team to just guarantee that they locked up that round. So good on him and good on the rest of Lunatic, as, as you were saying, they're now one round away from locking this up. TSG had that AK-47, so he's going to be able to buy up, but the rest of his teammates not so fortunate. A FAMAS on S2H, and the rest of the players have pistols. That's not the situation you want to be on match point, but really they don't have a, a better option. Still trying to fight it out. S2H will take down Drake, possibly the last round of this game. Unless BDS can come up big here and prevent the win from coming a little too early. They have eight rounds in their favor, though, but they're still trying to make something happen if they're able to. And they're... Oh, that's going to be Scouts and Bye-Bye picking up shots. Scouts looking for another one on the Terror. Terror's got the Deagle in hand. Very low on HP. Can he get away from the spray? Will get away initially. S2H goes down. Terror right there through the door. Does he survive? No, not able to. Scouts will try and pull out the pistol against Deegzel in Washington. And actually, one of the BDS members has already left. It's going to be a three-on-one now. Deegzel down to 50 HP. BDS at this point is looking like they've oh, just... Oh, S2H all the way out of the server. 
Yeah, conceded the loss here as Dzel goes down a little bit further, goes down to 50 HP. Going to try and rotate Ooh. towards A. There's still the man watching and waiting for him up top. Babai looking to hit the shot and Invert hits the one dig. That will be a victory for Lunatic. 16 to 8 over BDS. They move forward 2 to 0 over BDS. And uh, they will be playing the winner of that affinity matchup uh, into your round of four. Yeah, and right as that game was ending, Lunatic uh, Pirates had not so great things to say over the end. I, uh, you know, that's what happens. Uh, you know, kind of the aggression goes both ways, and if you can't back up the uh, talk with the wins, then you know you're just at the mercy of the other team, and you got to you leave the server and dodge that talk before it can even get aimed at you. I like that strategy, and with that, Lunatic going to be bumping BDS right down to the lower bracket. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Obviously. Map one, the heroes uh, were definitely Drossel and uh, Bubai stepping up huge. Drossel dropping 127 ADR, his teammate Bubai 107. Map one, that was really strong. Map two, though, is kind of a little more even distribution uh, across the board. Everyone between pretty much a 10-ish uh, point spread being uh, topped off by 89 ADR by Bubai, but. Really, across the board, frags relatively even. Invert, technically top frag, but not top ADR. But you know, those things go both ways. Great headshots coming out across the board. Bubai with 16 headshots. Drake with 15. Scouts with 13. No one really even close on BDS except for Terror, who had 15. I mean, S2H had 9. I'm just You, you can see there's a significant accuracy difference and um, just ability to, to, to sniff out the heads and and hit nice shots. Lunatic just out shooting them like crazy. Yeah, definitely looking very, very good into that round. And that will do it for that, uh, that part of our upper bracket that we got going on now. So we should have more matches coming up guys. Uh, still waiting to find out what we're going to be going to. And uh, so now, guys, we're going to go on to a break while we wait for our next set of matches to come forward. Once we have them, we will bring the stream back live and get into some more matches for MSI I Buy Power Summer Invitational Qualifier Number 2.